guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a what's in my hospital bag video i decided to just like sit down on my bed and do this even though i'm like washing bedding and it's just half made right now my right eye has been burning like all morning and i don't know why so that's why i'm wearing glasses so i'm trying to like look this way from the window so that there's not too much glare but anyways i wanted to start this video out by kind of talking about the different things you should keep in mind when you're starting to plan out what you want to take in your hospital bag if you're new here hi my name is lily and i am on my third baby so this is going to be the third time i am packing a hospital bag i'm a little seasoned in this part of pregnancy maternity things so if you guys want to see what i'm going to pack in my hospital bag just go ahead and keep on watching so the main thing i want you guys to kind of keep in mind when you're planning out your hospital bag is is this your first baby your second baby your third baby etc if this is your first baby do not feel bad if you overpack you don't know if you're going to have a C-section. You don't know how many days you're going to be in the hospital. You don't know if you're going to have a long labor, a short labor, if you're going to have complications. You don't know. You don't know. Expect the unexpected. If you are a first-time mom, I don't mean that in a sense to scare you or anything, but we often go in with an expectation and we kind of end up having to maneuver that a little bit when it comes to labor kids in general so don't be afraid to overpack whatever's going to make you feel comfortable and you feel like you're going to feel better about having with you than not having with you also how far away do you live from the hospital so for example i live about half an hour away from my hospital so if it's right down the street or super close to you you don't have to worry about really oh, if I forget something or if I feel like I'm not going to pack this because I might not need it and if you end up needing it, someone can easily get it for you. That's also a factor. If you're going to be getting a C-section, you're going to be spending more time at the hospital depending if you're a first time C-section, second time kind of thing. I've never had a C-section so I don't know specifically but I do know you stay in the hospital longer. Even if you have a vaginal delivery and it's your first time having a baby, Typically, you will spend an extra night in the hospital or they will give you the option to stay an extra night even though you don't need it. You don't need it physically like for your health. It's just for the extra kind of help while you're transitioning into motherhood kind of thing. So that's what it was for me anyway. And they did ask me if I wanted to stay an extra night and I didn't personally stay an extra night. I was perfectly comfortable going home after just one night at the hospital. So... With my first daughter, I got there like at midnight, had her at 3 p.m., spent that night there, and then I went home the next afternoon. So we were technically there like a day and a half-ish, like almost two days, but just like one night we spent there. So I could have stayed that extra night. They gave me that option, but I didn't. Just keep in mind, you will more likely need a little bit more stuff when you pack. Also, if you're being induced, that is also something that you want to expect to be there a little bit longer, depending on the person. It just really depends on the person. If you're a second time or third time mom, typically, I'm not gonna say everyone, but typically, this is just what my doctor told me, typically the labor that you had with your first child, your second child, it's going to be very similar. So if you had vaginal births the first time, you will most likely have a vaginal birth the second time. If you had to be induced the first time, you probably will need to be induced the second time. But a lot of the time, it's a good predictor, your previous labor and deliveries to how your future ones will go. As far as inductions, C-sections, vaginal births go, not like, oh, you're going to spend the exact same amount of hours having every kid. With that being said, everyone's personal preferences are also going to be different. So if you want to bring your own pillow, if you just hate the pillows at the hospital, if you hate the blankets there, if you, all those things you can bring if you want. You don't have to bring them. You will be provided a lot of stuff at the hospital, but it is your personal preference of what you want to use. So if you want to take things for the 
typical two days, one night that you'd be at the hospital. If you just have a run of the mill vaginal birth, then that's up to you. If you know that you're the kind of person that you are gonna get induced and it's gonna be a couple of nights at least or more, or if you're gonna have a C-section, you wanna be as comfortable as possible, bring your own pillows, bring your own blankets, anything, like I said, to make you feel comfortable. So for me, I'm on my third kid, like I said. So the first two, both vaginal births, one night in the hospital, in and out, came home. So I do not need to pack too much because more than likely this is the same kind of routine that we're gonna have for this baby. Depending on what time I go into labor, both times I went into labor at night, so it can most likely be the same this time around. That's what I'm keeping in mind while I made my list for my hospital bag. So that's another thing that I suggest is making a list. So what I did is I made my list and then I just kept my bag out that I was gonna use. And as I started accumulating things on my list, I started just throwing it in there. I wasn't really packing it up. If you guys saw one of my clean with me videos recently, I mentioned that and I threw some stuff in there. I also on my Target haul, I picked up some stuff for my hospital bag. So check those videos out if you haven't already. The only thing, that I have not packed is like my toiletries bag. I'm not gonna go and buy a bunch of travel sized things to to take. I don't think it's necessary. So my plan is to just have my note card here like on the nightstand or on my makeup desk or whatever. Whenever I feel like it's time, I'm going to just go through my list or tell Ramses and just be like, here, can you just throw this in a bag? Put it in my hospital bag kind of thing. And I specifically wrote each thing so I wrote like makeup bag so that I would just pack myself my typical stuff that I would have again I'm not gonna go out and buy a bunch of like small sized things or doubles of my stuff just to have in a bag for the next three four weeks kind of thing so that I would just pack on my own the only toiletries I'm gonna take is a toothbrush toothpaste and a hairbrush scrunchies I did actually throw scrunchies in here though my cellar water a washcloth deodorant, face wash, and moisturizer. That's it. I'm not taking shampoo. I'm not taking conditioner. Did I say body wash? I didn't say body wash, but the little body wash that I have that will also be coming just in case. So I don't remember taking like a full on shower when I was there. I just remember like rinsing off. I didn't like get in there and get all soaked up and shampoo and conditioner my hair or anything like that. Uh, I just don't feel like super comfortable doing that at the hospital. So I'm just going to take a body wash just to kind of rinse off and clean all the parts I need to, but I'm not gonna take like a loofah and shampoo and conditioner and all that stuff. Like I'm not gonna be there that long, so I'd rather just save the hassle of having to pack all that stuff and just take a shower when I get home. And then also things that we're going to have kind of ready, but obviously I'm not gonna throw it in here, is my camera and my other camera like for pictures and brand new SD cards. So those are gonna be like on standby in our little camera. We have a camera bag, so that'll be ready to go too. And also I wrote it down just so that we could remember that we need that and it's not in the bag. And our phone chargers. And then I also put my contacts case and some contact solution because I do wear contacts and most likely I'll probably put my glasses on before we go to the hospital because I don't want to deal with having contacts in when I'm in labor. So those are the things that are are written on my list and are kind of grab and go things when we're gonna actually go to the hospital so those are not physically in my bag also I am gonna take a boppy pillow but I just haven't gotten it in yet so that's also something that I don't have but I'm gonna be taking if you haven't watched my breastfeeding video I mentioned that particular product and why I love it in that video so check that one out as well okay so into the actual bag so, so the bag I'm going to be using is this, um, it's like a little carry-on, like, duffel-ish bag. It's, uh, by Lululemon. I'll try to see if I can find the name of this bag, if it actually has a name. I didn't buy it. Ramses bought it for me last year for our anniversary, so I don't, I don't know anything about it, but I love it. I use it all the time when we travel, when we go places. Let me take everything out because I'm a little confused right now. Hold on. Okay, so for the baby, yes, we are cloth diapering, but I'm not gonna bring any cloth diapers to the hospital. Just because, like I said, we're gonna be there for a day, two days-ish, and I just think it's a little unnecessary for me to bring some diapers and then have to like 
bring them home and wash them already kind of thing so I'm just gonna use the usually they use Pampers at the hospital so I'm just gonna use the newborn Pampers that they have while we're there and then when we come home we'll start with the whole cloth diapering thing so I'm gonna start off with the baby stuff I'm not taking too much for her but I am gonna take a outfit to change her into after they bathe her so typically what happens when the baby is born they don't bathe the baby right away they clean her off obviously and everything you guys do skin to skin if you're gonna breastfeed you attempt to breastfeed right away you just kind of have some bonding time and then after all the commotion is done with and you're all taken care of because another thing too is you can tear and stuff like that so you might need to get stitches and all that stuff so all that stuff has to happen before they come in and like bathe the baby they will bathe the baby for you or you can bathe the baby yourself and they will help you or your husband can bathe the baby so that comes a little bit after so as soon as she's born you're not going to like dress her or anything she they're usually just going to put her on you put a diaper on her I think they put a diaper on them after they're born can't remember but they don't dress them right away and then when they take them their bath then you can change them they will usually put like the hospital shirt and the hospital little hat on them after they bathe them that's what I did with both of my kids I just let the nurse and Ramses Ramses took the girls their first little baths at, in the hospital so they'll probably just wear she'll probably just wear like the little shirt it's not a onesie it's just like a little shirt and they put the diaper and they swaddle them and put the little beanie on them so preference personal preference if you want them to specifically put on a certain outfit you can just let them know but for me personally I'm just gonna let them do that that way I can just keep the little hospital shirt and hat like I did with the girls and yeah so that's what they're gonna first like change them into and then after that after depending on what time it is if it's late how long the labor was if we're tired we're gonna eat whatever then a little bit later once we're ready and then the babe So when we're ready, we can change the baby. So I feel like I'm going to just change her in either this. I'm taking two options just because again, time of day, the weather, etc. So I might do this. I might put her in this little long sleeve onesie. I highly, highly recommend getting shirts that tuck in and make a little mitten. The baby mittens fall off without fail. So these are super convenient, the ones that already have them little like built in. And it comes with these little pants and the matching little beanie. So that is one outfit. If it's a little colder, I might just put this on her and then this on top depending on how cold it is. So I'm gonna take like a full like little sleeper. So that's just like for backup kind of thing. Also baby's poop. Sometimes it can get on their stuff. So having a backup is always nice for the babies. Just just one backup, you should be fine. And then also I got her these. These are main this is mainly for a picture. So we want to take a picture, all of us in the hospital, me with all three of the girls. So I also got a matching robe and the girls got matching pajamas. So this is the babies. So this is just like a little knot gown. So I will put this on her to take pictures of her and stuff, but I'll probably not leave her in this. And then this is a little headband, matching headband that goes with it. So that's all the clothes I'm taking for the baby. I'm not taking any Burt Braggs. I'm not taking bottles. I'm not taking my pump. I'm not taking any, any breast pads. None of that. They all have that at the hospital. No diapers, nothing. But yeah, that's literally all I'm taking for the baby. Let me check my list to make sure. Oh. I did forget to show you guys this. I also picked up this beautiful swaddle blanket. I got it on Etsy. I will link everything below. I got this at Target. If you guys saw my Target haul, it was in there. The gown and stuff, I will uh, link that below. This was for from a baby shower gift, so I don't know where that's from. But this was from Etsy. I ordered this from Etsy. I'll link the shop below. It is so cute. I was torn between 
getting her one like something like this or getting her one with her name on it i ended up going with this and i love it it's so soft and just lightweight but it's just beautiful i love it and it comes with a little turban like not turban look how cute this is what she'll be like bundled in no matter what she's wearing so yeah that's it so that's what i wrote two baby outfits a beanie and i technically have two because i have this one that matches the swaddle and then one swaddle blanket you can take a warm blanket if you live oh my freaking bro keep showing you can take a warm like fluffy blanket if you feel like you need to but I live in Arizona, so this should be plenty. The long sleeves, everything. Okay, and as far as me goes, I am packing the girls' pajamas. So again, depending on what time we um, deliver and all that stuff and come home, we might not even change the baby into that gown and the girls into this because, and we might just do pictures here at home with the with these just because it might just not be convenient for the girls to go down there and then have us take pictures at the hospital we might just wait till we come home but i am going to pack them so this is the girls it comes with pants and long sleeves these are so soft these are made from bamboo there's exactly the same print and that's it most likely the girls will be with my mom or my sister or my in-laws again whenever this happens depends who's available but yeah so i'm just taking those for them just in case we do take the pictures at the hospital so for when i leave the hospital i picked up this nursing bra again this was in my target haul i got it in a size large but it's a nursing bra and then i got these also from target so i highly suggest getting dark pants uh you obviously bleed for a few weeks after you give birth and you also wear really thick pads or like the depends diaper things and it doesn't look very cute when you wear like leggings unless you wear leggings and then you wear like a long shirt where it kind of covers your butt vagina area so I mean personally I just think like I just feel a little uncomfortable wearing tight pants when I have all that going on down there so I got these loose joggers from Target. I got them in a large, I guess they're not joggers, but they like go skinnier down towards your legs so they're not super flared on the bottom. I'm short, so if I get things that are like really flared, I just drag them on the floor. So these are really nice. They kind of are supposed to, for regular size people, I think they're supposed to go to like mid calf, but these go all the way down to my ankles, so they're like pants for me. So this is what I'm gonna wear when I leave the hospital. And then I picked up this shirt i decided to get a nursing tank i don't have like any nursing shirts i don't even have spaghetti straps like to do the t-shirt trick kind of thing but i figured i would get a nice comfy actual nursing tank i've never really gotten many of these but it's really cool it's like it's dark gray and it has black so it like kind of goes with the pants that i got but it has like this little slit right here on the side so you like open it like this and then you pull it up from here and then you can nurse the baby and you're still a little a little modest up here you know so that's nice and loose i will also link this below i got it on amazon so that's what i'm gonna be wearing to leave the hospital and then this is the robe that i got to match the baby and girls stuff i got it in an extra large just because i wanted it to be loose fitting and comfortable super soft so happy with this and then i did buy ramses this what i thought was going to be the same gray tone that's what it looked like on amazon but it's a lot lighter gray he said it would be fine so that's what i packed for him i don't know if he's gonna want to pack anything i don't really pack snacks or <laughs> anything like that typically ramses will just run to get us food or someone will get us food but yeah i don't really worry about packing tons of snacks and i got these slippers for the hospital i don't want to wear these like to the hospital because you always want to make sure you have a bag like everything you have in your bag is like what you're going to need because whatever you wear to the hospital you might get soiled somehow with either your water breaking something happening to the clothes you're wearing so i wouldn't suggest saying like oh i'm gonna wear comfy clothes or i'm gonna wear my slippers that way i don't have to pack them or already have them because i'm gonna wear them to the hospital so 
just be aware of that. Be careful of that. Um, try to just pack what you're going to use in your bag. And then I already had these two scrunchies in here that I had thrown in. And then this is the little body wash that I had put in here. So this is not Odie Creamy Dream Shower Cream, which stinks by the way. Hated it. But I literally like, I got it in like a little gift set. I just reused the little container. So this is just uh, the castle soap that we use for body wash. And then I'm like running out of my deodorant that I have. So I just figured I would throw this in there and I got a new one. So that's why this is in there now, but it's because it's good for another couple of uses, which is what I'll need while I'm in the hospital. And then I threw this in there. It's just uh, from some, one of the packs that we have in there that's just extra toothbrushes for travel or if someone comes over and needs a toothbrush. So I have this. So the only thing I'll need to pack is toothpaste, face wash, moisturizer, micellar water, and a washcloth. Oh, and my, and a brush, a little brush. See, that's why I have this. Comes in handy. But yeah, I'm not taking any hair products. I'm not taking like dry shampoo, I'm not taking any hairspray, um, nothing like that. I'm not taking my own pillow, I'm not taking my own blankets. It's just, that's just too much for, for me, for us to like have to deal with. I just want like one bag with all our necessities and that's it. I don't wanna have to have Ramses carrying a bag, worrying about me carrying a pillow. Like, it's just, it's just too much. So. I'm very minimalistic at this point with my third child. I wish I would have been doing videos back when I was pregnant with my first baby so I could probably look back and laugh at myself because I overpacked, I'm pretty sure. I remember I had a huge diaper bag for Jet. Like it was huge, it was like this big. And then I had my own bag for myself. So I just can't even imagine what I put in there. And depending on how all this stuff fits in here in this uh, Lulu bag, I might take the baby's diaper bag as well because you do get a lot of stuff from the hospital. And as far as postpartum care goes, I'm not taking anything for postpartum. I'm not taking my own pads. I'm not taking my own underwear. I'm not taking dermaplast. I'm not taking anything for myself, they provide at my hospital with all that stuff. So I do prefer to use my own underwear and my own, but I'm not going to specifically buy those now and take them with me to the hospital when they have all that stuff there. I'm totally fine using what they have there for the day or two that I'm gonna be there. So that's just my my way of thinking. So it's just less things I have to pack, less things I have to buy right now. So I'm not going to be packing any of that stuff. I will do a whole other postpartum video probably after I have the baby. I'll be a little more freshened up in my mind about all that stuff after I have the baby. The only thing that I'm taking for postpartum care is this postpartum recovery belt. So I've never used this before. I have used something similar before, but this time around, I wanted to get something that was very versatile, a lot more comfortable, easy to wear. Um, so this is really cool because it has three different pieces and you can use them however you want and they're Velcro. I'm obviously not going to use it if I don't feel comfortable using it, if I'm still kind of bloated, recovering kind of thing, but it is nice when you are kind of de-bloating back to normal to have something that makes you feel a little more secure. So this is not a like corset, it's not a waist trainer, it's not stiff, it's super soft and flexible. And you can use the piece that goes all the way around your hips. You can use, I'm probably going to use that one most likely. And then I'll do the stomach one a little bit later, maybe like a week later. But they are nice and stretchy. I got this on Amazon for 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 bucks. That's also why I got it because of the price point. It also has really great reviews. So I can get started on that like as soon as I can. Now that I'm going to be kind of organizing everything in my Lululemon bag, if I need to, I think I'm going to use the baby's diaper bag for other stuff because you do get some stuff from the hospital. So it'd be nice to have a little bit more room. So I might 
pack some things in there and then some things in here also because I still need to pack my toiletries a few of my toiletries and then my makeup bag and my camera stuff so it might everything might fit in this black bag perfectly right now but then when we need the other stuff I will need more room so I think I'm going to separate a few things between this lulu bag and the baby's diaper bag but yeah guys i think that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and you got something out of it and you guys feel a little bit more comfortable packing your hospital bag and not stressing too much about it and all of that just because it can be stressful especially with the first baby so don't put too much pressure on yourself enjoy the process and i will see you guys in my next video bye